Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Facebook Live Q&A. Um, this month we're going to, this one we're going to do a little differently. Last month we did a Valentine's one where we just gave out a mass amount of product. So basically how it's going to work is we're going to ask you the questions about our Facebook Live Q&As. And I kind of doubt they'll get it, but whoever does, we have a ton of great stuff here for you guys. Um, so just so you guys know, this is live. If you hop on tomorrow, Saturday, and you answer the questions, <laughs> it doesn't count. Yeah, you're not going to get any. Yeah, yeah. So, Sorry, yeah. it's not that we're mean. And to make sure that it's fair, we have Corey, and she's over here. She's actually on the computer. You can see her when it's live. Um, she will actually see the first comment. You guys will be able to see it even, and um, she'll be the one that chooses them. Oh, our buddy uh, Micah, he's not with us this week. He's uh, chasing a wild pig. Somewhere in, I believe it's Idaho, so we wish him good luck and hopefully there's a lot of snow up there. That's what he says. I don't think he's doing it. <laughs> I think he's being lazy, taking time off, and giving us excuses. Right, probably what he told his wife he was taking. <laughs> he was going out to just, uh, he's hiding somewhere. Oh, he is. He's, he's probably at the shop hiding out. <laughs> All right, so we already got a couple guys here. Um, Joe Pascal, hey guys, Gary, my buddy Rocks. Uh, Gnek, if I didn't say your name tonight, uh, hello, Matthew, howdy y'all, uh, hey Tim here, um, Lee said, what's up from Tennessee, and Walt, hey Muddy, hey guys. Hey guys, how you doing? Great to have you with us today. Alright, so we got questions, it's going to be tricky, um, so if you guys watch our Facebook Lives, you're going you're gonna to score a lot of amazing gear, real quick, I have to do some shout outs, so this is actually sponsored by our sponsors, which is Bird Dog Waterfowl, Duck Waterfowl, and also um, Adrenaline, which produces the finishers. Um, and also Echo Calls, Mud Buddy, Abo, Lucky Duck. And if it wasn't for them, um, yeah, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have all this awesome free gear to give to you guys. So definitely go to their pages, give them likes. They do the same stuff as we do, and they're awesome companies. Yep, really good. We appreciate all that they do for us. So I say we kick it off here and let the questions start rolling in, and uh, we'll have uh, Keith. We'll have you ask the first one. The first question: What brand of shirt was Jason wearing in the last Facebook Live? What shirt was he wearing? Were you paying attention last week? Because I, I kind of think, I don't really want to give it away. Yeah. It might be similar to... I think it is. The one you have on today? I think it is. I think <laughs> it is. And I think in the beginning, too, I even said it's, it's brought to you by... Yeah, I think you did. So... All right. Lane put Drake is not Drake. I do not wear Drake. I will say that. <laughs> I have some Drake stuff. Yeah. Um, Travis... Matt, it wants to know, can I play? <laughs> no, Travis, you can play. Sorry. <laughs> Travis at BPS, our buddy over there, trying to trying to get some free stuff. Um, Banded, no, but I do like Banded's clothing. It's super nice. Um, Brett Griffin over and under, nope. How about, what does that shirt say? I think. Oh, is that BWFD? Is that Bird Dog Water Waterfowl? Fowl? Yeah. Is that what it is? All right, so Corey is saying it's David. David is the winner. Uh, David, PM us after with your name and address, and we'll go ahead and... Uh, what are we giving him? I don't know. <laughs> what, what do we want to give As him? matter of fact, since we did a bird dog, I'm going to give you a bird dog hat. Um, and uh, just because it goes with the shirt, we'll give you a hat. And actually, uh, we'll give you a Lucky Duck keychain with it as well. Um, the the keychains are super cool. I mean, everyone in our company has one almost. Almost. Almost, yeah, almost. And, uh, yep. All right. So I'll go with the second one. Uh, what are the three paint options that we went over in our last Facebook Live on the Mud Buddy 4400s? Were those the three motors we had behind us? Yep. We were doing yeah, that? the three, three that was, behind there. And that was part of the uh, giveaway for the... Uh, blind that yeah. we're still doing so don't forget that guys go to the web page click on the links on facebook uh follow those get in line for that free blind giveaway that backwater performances yep. graciously donated to us to give away nice looking blind so make sure you do that make sure you follow all the steps because i think i was talking to jason a couple days ago and they said there's a lot of people on there but they're not following it all the way through yeah so. you need to make sure you follow the steps um, 
All right, so we got some things going. Back to the question real quick. What are the three paint options Mudbuddy offers on the 4400s that we had behind us in our last Facebook Live? Um, and then for this one, we're gonna do a finisher, an echo call, and uh, from one of our pro staffs, duck waterfowl. Did you so, get all that, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Leah, you can see here too, Keith, if you want to. Leah, so off the fade, bottom land, um, off the fade, uh, bottom land, max five, nope. Um, off the fade, Timber, timber and hypergrass. And hypergrass. Well, those two, two, two of those are right. We're just missing one from Leah. Leah, you're, you almost had it. Almost had it. You could be the winner of this. Up to fade, grass, timber. No, we've got Leah's the closest one so far with the up to fade timber and the hypergrass. There's one of the up to fades missing there, Leah, or anybody else who catches it. Yeah. If you're not in the timber, you're in the. Well, we've hunted here in, in Utah. Oh, up to fade marsh. That's one of them. Got to have all three of them, guys. Marsh up to fade timber and hypergrass. The off the fade Leah marsh. Leah answered again. Yeah. Off the fade marsh, Leah. Got yeah. It. So we, I would say Leah is probably the winner on that one. Leah and Carter. PM us your information. You want an echo call? Uh, finisher and the finisher is from adrenaline.com. These are freaking awesome. I use it all the time. And duck waterfowl from our pro staff. We're gonna have to come up with a, another call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I forgot about my other one. I will grab it in a minute. All right, good job on that one, guys. We still have a bunch of gear, so let's keep it going here. It's gonna get harder as we roll on, but like I said, you guys will get gear. So. Let's choose what we're gonna do this time real quick. I said we do a couple shirts this time. What do okay, you think? how about, because we've been doing a little fishing on our yeah. little Facebook Live, how about we throw out a uh, long sleeve white Mud Buddy uh, fishing shirt. You know what look good with that shirt is this Mud Buddy guy yeah, that, as well. That'll look good, so how about we throw in those two and we're Let's gonna ask a DVD you. DVD too. In there. Oh, a DVD, Corey, Mallard Madness 10. And the question is, who is sponsoring our boat blind giveaway? I just gave that information to you. Just gave it up. <laughs> Sorry, man. One thing, Travis, you cannot answer this. You cannot answer, Travis. Corbin, you can't answer it either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we see you guys watching. It's right there. Somebody got it. Jake and Jackie. Jake and Jackie Ellison. Is that... Is that who you think is the winner? That's oh, right. they, yep. It is them. Jake and Jackie... Ellison is the winner of that. Make sure to PM us after with your name and address so we can ship that out to you guys. I'm shocked how quick they that's, got that's it. That's pretty good. <laughs> now, considering you just said it right there. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry about that. I kind of gave that one away. It's like, oops. Uh, so, hey, we have, uh, I think our, our next one's got to be a pretty good sized package. Oh, so man. This, let's, uh, here, let's open this. Roll thing. this baby out here. I want one in my garage. All right, guys. We're doing a big package. We're going to do this with the uh, Mud Buddy uh, Off the Fade Hat. Marsh. Marsh. And uh, Mud Buddy t shirt. And uh, a Lucky Duck keychain. And a Bird Dog Waterfowl sticker. And an Abo window sticker. That's a pretty big package. That's a big package, man. Nice looking sticker on the back of your truck. All you guys support one of our... Uh... And Abo has a lot of great gear. I actually like their gear too for fishing and stuff. So, um, All right, guys, let's get this ball rolling. Um, and Keith, I'll let you do the honors on this one. Okay, guys, a couple of us. Actually, there was three of us that went fishing last week out on the frozen tundra. And I will give it away, guys. Yes, we were at Strawberry. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you exactly where. Um, or how deep we were fishing, but one of the three of us, who caught the most fish that night when we were out there? Well, I tell you who should have caught the most fish, and that should have been me. So uh, it wasn't well, I, you. That, <laughs> but was I there? That's the real question. I don't know. Were you there? I don't know. <laughs> but it's on our last one. Oh, yep. Let's, let, we'll let it keep rolling here. Um, I can't remember what bait we were using. 
some type of plastic little thing with some type of little live worm. and I changed my bait out how many times? I two or three. Two or three times, moved holes, got between you and Travis on the holes. I felt like I was hovering you guys. And how many did you catch? None. I didn't catch a single freaking one. <laughs> I was lucky. I got two. <laughs> and we have a winner, right? Yes. Yeah. And who is the winner? Justin Strong. The winner is Justin Strong. Justin, you won the ultimate package. Uh, please make sure PM us your address, your information, what size shirt that you need so we can make sure, obviously, the shirt fits you. Um, but congrats on that one, man. That was Travis caught the most fish. We, I yeah. think we quit counting after 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it, we were yeah. both a little upset about after that. After 10, yeah. I, I didn't even want to count anymore, honestly. I was <laughs> fed up with it. I'm like, all right, let's roll out, you know? <laughs> Travis stopped laughing at us, too, by the way. <laughs> Amanda just hopped on and said, hey, from Louisa, Louisiana. Hey, hey. Amanda. Um, so here we go. We're going to kick it off with another one. Keith, I'll let you do the honors and pick the one that... Um, How about we go with... Uh, with that this nice waterfowl face, the butt yeah. looks awesome, and the hat maybe with it. How about these two? We're going to throw out a nice little neck warmer. I wish I had one of these. So this is from Duck Waterfowl. It's a face buff. You can use it for a beanie. Um, you can use it to cover your face directly on there. And then um, the Duck Waterfowl hat with it because... Obviously, so, you have to. It's a nice little and that's, slide from our guys. And that's from Andrew Flair, who is going to be one of our new pro staff members. He is amazing and awesome. Um, so I'll do the honors on this one. How many blades are on a two-blade prop? Wow, man, that's, a, that's a tough one. It was, man. Last week, people, or last time we did, people, it was a pause in there. <laughs> it was know? a pause. <laughs> Not too many people were sure on that one. Like, oh, there was definitely a pause. I couldn't believe it. I was actually shocked. But it's kind of a trick question when you're talking about it. Last time we said a three-blade prop. Right. And, yeah, it's, it's just, just a trick question. Just kind of a trick question. <laughs> just something fun. You got a winner there, Corey? Angela Torres. Angela. Good, good job there on the hat and... Neck warmer, the little, what do they call them, a buff? A buff, yeah, yeah cool. buff. PM us your address and information, and we'll go ahead and get that shipped out to you. Um, all right, let's get it going here. Some of these questions, we kind of just throw them back out at you from last time. Uh, this is a should be a pretty quick one. Where is Mud Buddy's headquarter located? Yeah. We want exact. We want exact. Exact city. Exact city. Yeah. We yeah. don't. You can't say Arkansas, Louisiana. You have to give us the exact city. Because we're not in either one of those states. Sorry. <laughs> Come amazing. on, Bryce. Didn't you hear me? I just said don't say the state. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say the town. Oh, man. Yeah, you got to say the town on it. Um, and then what are we giving them? Oh, I don't know. This, uh, how about we throw in a Mud Buddy hat? Have to do a hat. Mud Buddy hat. How about we're going to make it a Mud Buddy Excel combo? We're going to throw in a, a shirt. And how about one of those cool looking keychains? I love those keychains. So awesome. that's, that's, our, that's our prize for this one here. <laughs> All right, so let's. Uh, so who is the winner on that one, Corey? Okay, I'm gonna butcher the last name, but it was Rob Rasmussen. 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 Rob, you are the winner. Um, Corey, on there, and you can, can see it's live. Uh, so please make sure to PM us your information and uh, your address, so we can go ahead and get that shipped out for you, bud. So I'm gonna do this next one, and what we're gonna do with this next one is it's actually gonna have to do with the finisher. Um, and this is by Adrenaline. These are super awesome, super nice. And I use it, but it helps with the clean kill, you know. Um, you're not sitting there twisting the necks and... <laughs> whacking it on the side of the boat. Whacking it on the boat. And my favorite, stepping on their head. And I, I have seen one crazy guy or, biting the head. Uh, that's not for me. Yeah. I, I know what kind of water... Bring the floss in. Let's get it done. I know what kind of water we're hunting in at, at certain parts of Utah, and there's no way I am going to bite a duck's head in no. the water that they're swimming in. Just not going to do it. That's a true water fountain. <laughs> yes, I, it must be. <laughs> well, So the question actually pertains to this. And the question is, is what is a finisher used for? I have one. I just got one. Yeah. Can't wait to use it. Clint got one. Glenn got one. Uh, 
ton of people got one on there. Um, Clint got two of that lucky dog, you know. Um, but yeah. Should we throw something else in? How about, we'll throw in a, Corey, we're going to do a Mud Buddy khaki hat with a finish or two. Sounds good. All right. I was wait. actually kicked out of it, so I cannot see. So let me see here real quick. But I did see uh, some post on there. So let me pull it back up here, Pete, guys. Oh, you were kicked out of it. Yeah, I was kicked out. It doesn't like me on my own thing, you know. All right. Um, so who won that one? Well, what kind of answer do you hmm. want? There were a lot of different Let's answers. Let's hear what I want. We got things like kill, quick kill, ethical kill. Humanely putting yeah, down the birds. Yeah, it's what kind of answer do you want? Keith, I'm going to leave this one up to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, how about we let you pick which one you want? <laughs> Real quick. Uh, I like the ethical yeah. kill. Ethical, ethical kill. That's more what it's for. Exactly. So that would be Kev Green. Kev Green, make sure to PM us your information. You are the winner of it. Um, before we go to the next question, I just want to do a shout out. My wife is watching. It's her birthday today, and I just want to say happy birthday to her. She is 30 and dirty today. 30 so. and dirty. Whoa. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah, so I just had to do the shout out, so I got the brownie points. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's select. Uh, I'll let you select the next one, Keith. How about let's do a, uh, let's do a, a Excel Marsh hat with the Excel shirt. I'm going to go Excel on this one, Corey. And our question is, and this one I hope Jason or Jeff can answer the question on this one, or uh, know the answer, because I don't. Name one of our pro staff members. Who is a Mud Buddy pro and staff? And it has to be a full name. You can use their nicknames because I do know their nicknames, but if you don't know their nicknames, it has to be a full name. Uh, we have a lot of cool pro staff members, actually. Cool. You know? I don't know who they are. And I kind of want to talk about them, but that will have to be another one, you know? Uh, do you want Mud Buddy or do you want Excel's pro staff? I do have a question. Both. Someone's asking if they can win more than once. Yes, you can win more than once because the name of the game is Quick Thumbs. So, and it's just like duck hunting, you have to have that quick finger. Quick finger. You know, especially especially if you're hunting with people that are, you know, hovering over people and stuff like that, so. <coughs> uh, someone said Travis, Travis wishes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna choose this one here, and let me go through it here, can you? Freddie King, who's that guy? Oh. oh man, Bubba Ramsey, you are the winner on my phone. Is that? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yep. Well. Okay, we have three verifications. Bubba, you are correct. Freddie King is one of our pro staffers. Um, I do want to bring up Jake and Jackie Ellison. You said Andrew from Dutch Waterfall, and you are correct. But doesn't mean you won, but you are correct. Um, <laughs> so some people have J. Paul Jackson on there. Yep, J. Paul correct. Jackson is. Rick Dunn, he's actually one of our sponsors. Which Echo he, Calls. Echo Calls. Um, J. Paul, Freddie King. I guess I did know some of their names. <laughs> um, yeah, Glenn Foreman. He's always. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie Swaney, of course, Sophie Swaney. Is. She is also one of our newer um, ones on there. She's on Instagram. You guys can follow her on Instagram. She is awesome. Mm -hmm. Chad um, Waugh, awesome. Chad Waugh, no, Jeff Dodd, Steve Douglas. Um, I mean, you, oh, man, they're That's amazing. Nice yeah, yeah, awesome people. Awesome, awesome people. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, this one probably got to be some mud buddy garb. Let's go with a uh, Optifade Timber a hat. A uh, khaki hat, a bird, bird dog, dog water, foul, foul sticker. Let's throw this shirt in there. Uh, Mud Buddy's white shirt. And we'll throw in an Abo sticker on there, too. This is a car window sticker, or you can just throw it on a window if you want. So, got, got a lot of garb on this one, guys. Let's see. I answered the last one, this, or gave the last All one. All right, this one so what is Mud Buddy's number one best-selling motor? to this year. And this one's gonna be a hard one because I even had to go walk around and ask because you go out to the warehouse, there's just motors, it's insane how many motors are going out right now. And a lot of people right now, it's their slow season and for us, we're just- we're, They're busy down there, they're oh, staying busy. So. Yeah, we're hauling them out like crazy. 
Um, so um, let's see. And you have to put on there if it's a, if you put a 44, you have to put on there if it's a black death. You can't just put 44 on there or EFI. Yeah, you have to be specific with it. So we'll see what we got going on here. Oh, I, I kind of, wait a minute. There was one on there, but I, I don't think we're going to let him win just because I think he's one of our dealers. Um, <laughs> He better not be one back to what he he the other way. I saw his name. Oh, where was it? Well, Bill Moore. Sorry, Bill. We're not going to let you win because you're a dealer. <laughs> nice <laughs> try, Bill. Come on, Come man. On, Bill. But Bill Moore did have, I believe, if it rolled back, it was the correct one. And I think we've seen it a couple times there, Corey. Um, I'm not exactly sure myself, so I couldn't tell you. Should we yes. shoot it out what it was? No. <laughs> Haven't you seen it yet? I saw, I saw it. No. I saw no, it on there I once. No, I didn't see it no more. I've looked a couple times. You haven't seen that yet right there? Oh, man. She was. Oh, that one there. Oh, no. We're going to have to go with this one. Nicholson McKenzie. Okay, that's who I have for the first one. Yeah. Yep. So the HDR 37 EFI is one of our most popular engines. The second one would be a 44. 44. A 44 is catching up with it. It but is. 37 has been around a little longer, so. It's been around longer, and I, to me personally, if you step back, think about it, it's in the middle. You know, right. so it's kind of like, you, it kind of gets that broad range of, you know, if you don't want to spend a ton of money, you still get some amazing and strong and tough. And Jeff and I, we go out in the 37 all the time. So, and the 44s. So I like them both. Um, this one is, all right, guys, this is our last question here. Oh, we have a couple more. Oh, actually, we do have a couple more. If we have time. Uh, okay. Let's just do one more here. Bill says, hey, guys, got to try. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Bill. You keep trying. If you're really nice when you come and pick up your next uh, motor package and boat package, maybe I'll throw you a, a Mud Buddy hat or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely. We do it for our dealers. See if, see if Jason's got something in the, if we have something left in the drawer that we can <laughs> throw at him next My week. office is getting pretty empty because of you guys, you know. Um, so here we are. We're actually going to do a couple more. So we're going to do a Mud Buddy hat, uh, Echo DVD with that hat. Um, so the question is, what type of camo paint is behind Keith and I? <laughs> that's a nice paint job. Paint job. Good question. That's a clean paint job too. And uh, I have to thank the guys downstairs. When I first came in here, it was white, and then we did our first Facebook live. It was like there was white. nothing on this wall. It was just <laughs> white. And then I was like, let's paint it. And then Ambry, awesome as she is, she got us the signs and stuff like that. So that was great. All right. Let's see what type of questions we have coming in. I'm gonna actually let it dig for a minute. I'm gonna let it see see who's really actually gonna get it. Um, but it is super cool, Jeff. I don't know if you want to move his zoom in or if we're good, right? We're good. Jeff says we're good. He He's gave, not moving. <laughs> he gave me the eye, so I don't move when he gives me the eye. <laughs> if they can't tell from there, they don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone put uh, mossy oak breakup. Nope. Blades. Nope. Off the fake timber. Somebody had a shadow Ooh. grass, which I thought was a cool name. If we, if anybody was looking for a new one, to he already won. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm actually going to go. I'm actually going to go ahead and Corey, who's the winner on that one? That is the timber, right? No. Nope. nope. So this is the marsh. The marsh. The marsh. So then that's going to be Bubba Ramsey. Bubba Ramsey is the winner of that one, um, and it is off the fake marsh. Um, on the wall. I just love it. It's awesome. I actually was trying to have them do my shoes downstairs and then do my infinity, but... They won't do it. No, they won't do I, it. I think it has to do with something with uh, probably... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, with Sitka and some of the, the regulations that we have to follow with their stuff. So, all right, guys. We've got a couple of little quick questions. Um, those of you who followed one of our favorite... Uh, People, I should say favorites, they're all yeah. favorites, but, no, one, that, but this one that we like to support. It was an awesome day that day. It was. We uh, had Camp Chef, Ryan from Camp Chef came down, and he threw on some food, but what we want to know is what kind of meat did he cook? So what was the meat that he used on those Camp Chef uh, little stoves? Oh, man, those stoves. Oh, that day was awesome. I mean, everyone was eating the food. Corey's over there <laughs> drooling already. <laughs> All the other guys in the shop were just hanging around waiting. Oh, for them. man, they were just... If we would have spin that camera around that day, it would have been like just this wall of just 
Let us eat, please. Put it this way. When Facebook Live was over, the food was gone. <laughs> there wasn't anything left. It, were, it was gone. But Ryan's awesome, man. Every time he comes by, he always, you know, helps us out. But I really like this product. It's good if you're going out duck hunting and things like that. You know, even if you're not, like, we are talking about going ice fishing again. You could just take that little portable with you. and As long as you have a good sled. Yeah. I recommend <laughs> a good sled. If Travis. you go with Travis, <laughs> do not go... <laughs> Do not let him give you the worst looking the sled. coffin sled. The coffin not, sled. That's it's a what sled, it was. all right. It was bad. Me and Keith were dying, like walking back, and all of a sudden you just see him slowly go into the dark and you don't see him anymore. But I will <laughs> say, Travis, thanks for having the truck warmed up by the time we got there. Chris Murphy, you are wrong, but that's a funny answer. He put kangaroo. No, no kangaroo. <laughs> a lot of different answers. We got moose, we got fish, no gator, no. gator from Nicholson. Gator, I would actually would like to try gator. I have tried gator yeah, once, and it must have been a really old gator because it was just kind of chewy. I don't think my wife would kiss me after if I did. If she doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was good fat fried, and it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't bad, but... Maybe it was just an old gator and it wasn't a young yeah. one or something. I don't know. I tried to Well, that goes back to duck, too. If you don't cook it right, it's just... Yeah. 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 Hard Overcooked best. duck is not good. All right. Does anybody have a winner, though? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a winner. Who is it, Corey? We got Brooks Catmull. Brooks Catmull is the winner. Go ahead and PM us your information. What is he winning, by the way? Wow, that's a good <laughs> question, Corey. So, <laughs> what is he winning? Out? Um, we're actually going to give you this tumbler here. It's a little tumbler. We're going to give you a Lucky Duck keychain, which you've seen before on there, and a Mud Buddy hat. And that's just to give it over to you. So PM us with your address and information, and we'll get that out to you. And that was elk. And that was it was good elk. elk. That that was, was good he, he cut that thin and just threw it on a couple seconds, popped it off, and just... It was amazing how fast that stuff cooked. Oh, you and Micah, you guys in the background just drooling and eating and... <laughs> Well, it, was, it was good elk and uh, Jeff was holding it down for you guys while you guys were eating. You know, <laughs> awesome. I have to throw a shout out to Glenn Foreman for for letting us go on that hunt and get that that nice animal. Yeah, that was, it was and, a lot of fun. And Glenn did donate to some of his um, elk meat, elk, elk had, meat so. to us, so we can actually do that. And uh, we think Glenn, you know, Glenn's an awesome owner, uh, super awesome. So. And then probably, well, we have two. We still have a couple things. Really quick. Back to Camp Chef, what did Ryan cook us? He had two little plates or entrees or whatever you want to call them. What were they? What was the name of the meal? We yeah. know there's elk in it, yeah. but what did he make, though? And two. There were two there of them. Two. And yeah. both of them were really good. Man, yeah. yeah. I wish I could have put down the camera that day and just been like, let me get in there. I remember one of our guys, he, he wouldn't try the first one that they did no because the onion and i think the word cilantro, cilantro he doesn't yeah. like cilantro and he turned that taco away like oh, oh did oh. i just say the word taco <laughs> okay oh man well <laughs> there's one answer there's Didn't one do that he threw up one so let's, i gotta see another one i'm not looking at my phone though do we have a you got a winner we have a winner supposedly yes and I'm questioning this because I want the hat and the bird dog sticker. <laughs> you don't have a hat? I can get your hat, oh, bro. Man, I got hats. <laughs> uh, who is the winner, Corey? Ben Bradford. He entered it in two different... Ben Bradford is the winner. He entered it in two different ones, but he did get it before anyone. Congratulations. PM us your information and we'll get it back to you. And what were those two, uh, two meals or two things that he cooked for us? Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Well, what did you call them? Ellie's? Ellie's steak sandwiches. <laughs> you yeah, know, sandwiches. And then also tacos. Tacos. And you know what was cool about that? It was quick prep, prep time because I think him and I had all that stuff prepped in under 10 minutes. And then we started the Facebook Live. So it was just quick and easy. It literally took, like, if you think about the whole process, it was probably about, like, the cooking was the, the quickest. Right. But it's like... 10, 13 minutes yeah, all was, together. It was, it was, it was, quick, it was quick and easy. Um, Shane, all right. Shane Cornell said that we cooked chupacabra. <laughs> so, good job, Shane. <laughs> I like that answer. All right, so this is the final one here. Uh, we'll do a sick uh, timber off the fade hat with the mud buddy hat with the bird dog waterfowl sticker, and I'll go ahead and let you 
Ask Let me one. read this one. And, and actually, you, let's throw this Oh, up. hey, there and we'll go. throw in a banner, Another too. Another banner. So this one is, and Jason knows the answer because I don't. What was the last photo that was posted on our Instagram account? So what was the That's last photo? That's a toughie. Photo? You're going to have to move out, go to the app, pull it up. Unless if you're like me, I got a TV here. Uh, Corey's <laughs> managing it. <laughs> so what was the last photo that Mud Buddy posted on Instagram? Chris Murphy put Mud Buddy Pro Staff. No. But if you think about... No. Don't no. give it away well, like you. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to give it away. Not like you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what was posted on Instagram. <laughs> he, he put geese. <laughs> That's a simple, quick, easy answer. <laughs> Just start shooting out birds. birds. <laughs> <laughs> no geese. Huh. I don't know. It could have been J. Paul Jackson when he hit him that beaver dam and he was just launching. <laughs> launching? Oh, man. And then it, they wonder why stuff falls apart with videos like that. Right? Oh, and man. It, so, yeah. do you want their answer to be really specific on how it is? Or. Nope. Well, I already know who the guy is. Oh, uh, so somebody's putting the answer right? Yep. Okay. I'm actually shocked. Yeah. That was quick. Somebody's on the But really. You are quick with your fingers, but it's definitely not you. But I will give you like two thumbs up, dude. I, you are a good fan. Um, but we are going to go. Oh man, winner of the boat? Nope. Uh, actually, I don't know. You tell me, Corey. Well, I have somebody who has it exact on what it is. We're gonna go exact with okay. it because yeah. that makes it fair to everyone because it, that's what it is. Okay, so then it is Bryce Evans. He says mallards on front of the. On front of a, a boat. Yep. And what's his name again? Bryce Evans. Bryce Evans, you are the winner. It was one of Fred King's photos. He had a bunch of mallards on the front of a boat. Um, Fred King's been stacking them, racking them on his Mud Buddy and Excel boat this year. He's been killing it, man. I, I've never got a memo to say, hey, Keith, why don't you come on down and shoot with Freddie and the boys? So I'm I don't know, Freddie. Come on, man. I'm trying to have him train one of my dogs. I don't know. Him and Jay Paul, they both are dog trainers. So yeah, it's, it's awesome. Maybe. Maybe Jake Paul freaking what you guys need to do is each get a dog for me for free. And then train up and send them to me and I'll be the judge. Hey, Freddy, I've got a challenge for you. I have a little Boston oh. Terrier that's won. Can you train him to fetch ducks? He's a cute little guy, but I don't know. He's kind of afraid of the water, so I don't think he's going to be a good hunting dog. <laughs> oh, thank you guys once again for tuning in. Uh, happy St. Patrick Day weekend <laughs> actually coming up. Um, but yeah, thank you. Uh, we're going to do this once a month on the ultimate giveaway. Um, and once again, I just want to put a shout out to our sponsors. Bird Dog Waterfowl, Echo Calls, Duck Waterfowl, Mud Buddy, obviously, Excel Boats, obviously. You got um, the finisher from Adrenaline. Make sure to go all give them a like and a follow. Once again, thank you. And you guys have a great day today. Um, and do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, just thanks for uh, being here. Have a happy and safe uh, St. Patrick's Day next week. I think next week we're going to be on the road. Next week we are going to be on the road. And uh, make sure to stay tuned on next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next we're Thursday. We're going to be a little bit earlier. And Travis will be with us from BPS. Make sure to stay tuned. We're going to be doing some goofy and some fun stuff. So make sure to stay tuned. Thanks, guys. All right. Peace out.